Hi dear students, today we are going to discuss uh, three questions from electrostatics that is the daily capsule for today. So let's read the question first force between two identical spheres charged with the same charge is F. If 50% of charges of one of the sphere is transferred to the other sphere then the new force will be. The same model of question is already asked for the NEET and as well as for the JE examination. So let us see how we can solve this problem here. Okay, force between two identical charges is F, which means we have two charges like this. Let's assume the distance between the charges is called D and the total force will be equal to F. Simply we can write K into, let's say charges is Q and Q, then I will write K Q square by D square. This is equal to F, nothing but. Next, questions in the second situation. If 50% of the charge is transferred from one body to another. So what is the charge in that case? First body given 50%, and then half of its charges is given. Now the first body charge is Q minus Q by 2. What will be the second body charge? First body transfer charge from one body to another means second body will get that 50 percentage. Within the half is gone away from one body, second body will get naturally the half. So what is the charge will be here? Q by 2. Here it is 3 Q by 2. So question is asking what is the new force? Question is asking what is the new force here? So what is the new force? Say F dash equal to K into q1 q2 by r square coulomb's law so nothing but q by 2 into 3 q by 2 q1 q2 by distance is same d square they are not talking anything about distance keeping at the same separation so what will be the answer will be here k into 3 q square by 4 d square if you look over here you can see this is our value of f k q square by d square here if you take 3 by 4 outside then what you can see if you take 3 by 4 outside 3 by 4 into k q square by d square will come. So what is the answer will be here 3 by 4 times what is k q square by d square we already know it is called f. So 3 by 4 times f is the correct answer for this question. So which means that is matches with option number one important on same question is previously asked in a different format let's move to the next problem question number two in the daily capsule two charges are placed as shown in the figure where should the third charge be placed so that it remains at rest where i can place the third charge <clears throat> okay so here the situation is like we have 9e and we have 60E, two charges are there. So I can place the third charge in three places. I have three options are there. What are all the three options I have? My first option either I can place at the left side, one I'm marking here, or in between the two charges, that is a second position, or right side of here, that is a third position. So three places I can place the third charge. So if question is talking anything about the third charge sign, no, it's not talking about whether it is positive or it is negative. So by default, we can assume it is a positive charge. Now, question asking system remains at rest. System remains at rest means total force on the charge is equal to zero. Let's assume, suppose I have placed the charge, let's given the name called Q here. So what will happen? The 9E charge will repel the plus Q. 16E will also repel the charges because all are positive charges. So 9E is repel the charges. Similarly, 16E will also repel the charges. So two forces in the left direction. What will happen? The charges will automatically move towards left side. So position number one is not a correct position. I cannot place it at the left side. Here I am going to position number three, for example. So I am placing the charge, say the charge Q here, I am placing it. So Q here placing it. So what happened? The 9E will repel the charges Q. 
Similarly, 16E will also repel because positive charges are repel each other. It, it is not going towards the charges. charges. So what will happen? The charges is moving towards right side. So the position number 3 is also not a correct position. Let's look into the position number 2. Say I placed our charge Q here. What will happen? 9E will, the 9E will repel the charges. But 16E will also repel the charges. So here two forces are in opposite direction. If the forces are equal, then what happened? Net force equal to zero and the system remains at rest. So the only chance that the charge should come in between 9E and 16E, then total force equal to zero. So definitely it is sure that the position is at the center. Not at the center, center in the sense in between the two charges. It is not exactly at the center, but between the two charges. Neither left nor right, but in between the charges. Now let's see where we can exactly place the charges. Let's do the calculations now here. So uh, we have the charges here. Let's mark it here. So we have 9E and we have 16E. Let's place Q here. Let assume the distance is X here. So what is this distance? 70 minus X. The question is given the total distance is 70 centimeter. So I taken as 70 minus X. So total force equal to zero. So because of 9E, we have a force towards a right side I am giving as F1 and because of 16E we have a another force towards left side both are repulsive forces and opposite direction if these forces are equal F1 equal to F2 what is the condition system at rest system remains at rest always system at rest okay so now let's uh, do the calculation so two forces so k into 9e into q whole divided by other distance x square distance between the two charges is x square this force equal to k into q into 16e divided by 70 minus x the whole square f equal to q1 q2 by r square that's not a formula so let's cancel the common terms what are the common terms k e q k e q cancel so what left we have balance 9 by x square equal to 16 by 70 minus x square now you know this is a quadratic equation and it is difficult to, to solve it so what we'll do in certain cases in options are already given we have to substitute the option and we have to see whether it is correct or not let's substitute the first option what is the first option 30 centimeter from 9e you can convert into meter also but there is no use right if you convert this centimeter into meter what will happen 10 raised to minus 4 will come 10 raised to minus 4 will come centimeter and a square on x square centimeter a square so then the meaning is automatically it's got cancelled that is why i am not changing centimeter into meter next let's substitute uh, 30 x equal to 30 first option so 30 square equal to 60 minus 7, 16 divided by 70 minus 30 the whole square so it become 9 by 30 square 9 by 30 square equal to 60 by 40 square is this is equal or not equal let's see whether it is equal so 9 divided by 900 is equal to 16 divided by 1600 oh, okay 16 it is zero missing so one six so this become one by hundred this is also equal to one by hundred so left side matches with the right side so 30 centimeter value we are picked up from the option is the correct answer so x is 70 x is 30 so the value x is 30 we got it so what is automatically 70 minus x it become 40 so both are correct 30 centimeter from 9e or 40 centimeter from 6e both are correct so which option is matching 40 centimeter from 16e 9 30 centimeter from 9e so option number one two correct so by combining all this what is the correct answer for this question option number four is the right answer for the question here option number four 
important aanu okay many many times the question is asked with different value with the different signs of the charges let's go to the next question question number third this is the last question in this capsule two small spheres each having charges plus q are suspended by an insulating thread l from a hook or hook na rendu charges ingane hang edittund one plus q another one is plus q this arrangement is taken into the space where there is no gravitational effect no gravitational effect means it is not attracting towards the earth then the angle between the two, two thread and the tension in each will be we are going from earth to space of course there is no gravitational field there is no gravitational effect but electrostatics remains there everywhere in the universe whether it is space whether it is earth whether it is any other planet electrostatic force will be there so the sentence is just confusing you so electrostatic force is there but there is no gravitational force due to electrostatic force what will happen these two charges will be getting repel each other this charge will pull this charges this charge will pull this charges so how the structures will look like 1 plus q come here 1 plus q come here what is the length of this one l ana idinte length length of the thread is l now here it is l here it is l so what is the angle between the two charges now will be here it is 180 degree it is 180 degree is the value now what is the force for this one f is equal to k into q1 q2 random equal charges are q square divided by l plus l the whole square so it become k q square divided by 4 l square is the correct answer so the question is asking tension tension is is nothing but the force tension is nothing but a force so question is asking angle between the two thread we got it is 180 degree because random on either side and the tension in each will be tension is nothing but force by comparing these two answers 180 degree and k q square by 4 l square option number 1 k 180 degree 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q square by 2 l square i hope you got the answer and it is clear for you let's see with the in the next sessions so all the best for all of you